Hello and welcome back. Now that we have some data being created, it's time to get that data to the cloud so that we can potentially analyze that data and act on it using the many tools AWS has to offer. So let's get started. First, what we need to do is configure Node-RED to be able to talk to AWS. And to do that, we need to create what's called a thing. So I'm going to head into my AWS Management Console here, and I'm going to go to IoT Core. Now, as you can see, it was recently visited, of course, by me, since it probably wasn't by you. Let's go ahead and head to the search up at the top and type IoT. And then there you'll see IoT Core. And of course, feel free to star that if you'd like to keep it accessible. Let's go ahead and click on that. And here we are. Now I am in US East 1, or North Virginia, and it might look slightly different than yours. AWS is doing a lot of console changes, and some of those changes may not have propagated to whatever region you might be in. But that's fine. What we're using for this course will all be pretty much in every region. You just may notice that some of the buttons are in different places, which shouldn't be an issue. But if you want the most accurate representation of this course, head to the North Virginia region as you go through it. So first thing I want to do, and there is a nice little wizard here, but we're actually going to just go through manually over here on the left so that the process is a little more consistent. So what I'm going to do is click on Manage. Then I'm going to click on Things right here. After that, go ahead and click on Create Things. And we just want to create a single thing. Go ahead and click Next. So now we need a thing name. I'm going to use PLC Next as my thing name. So then after that, as you can see, you've got other configurations. You can create thing types. You can really get detailed here but we're not going to dive too deep into that right now. And we're also not going to bother with a shadow at this point. Go ahead and click Next. And then what we need to do is create a device certificate. This is going to allow AWS and Node-RED to communicate securely. So let's go ahead and auto-generate that. So click Next. And then what we need is we need to create a policy that allows this thing, or Node-RED, to communicate with AWS. Go ahead and click on Create Policy. And basically what we want is for our policy name, we'll just call this All-IoT to signify that this is going to allow us to access every IoT service within AWS. We're going to allow all IoT actions. And for the policy resource, we're just going to add an asterisk indicating that we want to be able to access everything and everything that uses this policy is going to be able to utilize the IoT services it needs. Now in your particular enterprise or industry or whatever, this may not work for you, but for us, this is going to be perfect and prevent any issues we may encounter. Let's go ahead and click on create. All right, so now that we've done that, this should have opened a new tab, head back to that original tab and select that all IoT policy which again is tied to the certificate that we're using, and click on Create Thing. All right, so now anything, whether that's a device or Node-RED or whatever, that utilizes this certificate is going to have access to all IoT services within AWS. So let's go ahead and download that device certificate here and then download the public key file, the private key file, and download the Amazon Root CA1 right here. All right, so now that we've done that and everything is downloaded, let's go ahead and click on Done here. You should see your thing right here. And if you open that up, you've got a lot of information. Not much we can do right now, but you can see that there is a certificate it is active, which is great. We haven't set up groups or shadows. Feel free to play with that if you'd like. But for now, that's all we need to do. So go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's get Node-RED connected to AWS.